Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about Amazon Q Business. So let's have a look. Very excited about this slide. Uh, you have an employee who wants to query some information about your business, get some insights. And the key here is Amazon Q Business is for your employees, for people working in your organization, not your customers. So uh, your employee will send a query to Amazon Q Business. And the way to remember the name of the association is that the word query starts with a Q, Amazon Q Business starts, it also has that Q in there. And Amazon Q Business can be set up to have access to AWS services that your business might be using, such as S3 for storing uh, documents and um, different maybe files and things like that. Um, it can be, it can access RDS, so that's a database in AWS. It can access Aurora, another type of database. It can access Kendra, which is a, an AI service which is like Google, but for your documents in your business and so on. So lots of different services. You don't need to know the details of all of them. If you know the ones that are on the screen, there'll be more than enough for the exam. Uh, and also it can be set up to access external applications such as Gmail, Dropbox, Slack, Zendesk, and whatever else your business might be using. Uh, there's lots of applications it can be set up with. Now it can pull data from all those locations and uh, attempt to answer the query and e if it doesn't find an answer it can actually go for its fallback knowledge because underlying amazon q business there's a foundational or foundation model um, that is powering all this um, you know this uh, uh, interaction with the human and it has its own knowledge so if the answer is not available in the uh, internal sources inside the company, it can fall back on the knowledge of the large language model and use that to answer the query. And so basically it provides an answer. Now, another thing you can do with Amazon Q Business is that you can actually take, get it to take actions. It's a way to automate uh, things uh, to be done for you. For example, um, uh, not for example, <laughs> but it works through plugins. This is important to remember for the exam. So uh, if you hear, if you see the word plugins, that's for the actions it takes. That's the bottom part of this diagram. And the plugins that are available are, for example, for Jira, for Salesforce, for Zendesk, and some other ones. So it can uh, raise an issue in Jira, uh, in Jira. it can uh, create a ticket in Zendesk and things like that. And there are others, including you can build your own custom plugins. If uh, plugins are already, some plugins are available for certain services like these ones. Uh, but if they're not available, you can create your own custom plugin for a service that you might uh, want to connect to Amazon Q Business for actions to be uh, taken. So that is um, the actions that it can take. And another thing you need to know for the exam is that you have admin controls over Amazon Q Business, which um, uh, you can where you can specify how it answers queries, uh, certain things uh, that it's allowed to answer about, not allowed to answer about. Um, and even you can set up whether this fallback knowledge from the underlying foundation model is allowed. So you can turn that off so that uh, Amazon Q Business, if it doesn't have the answer from the internal documents, is not going to fall back on the underlying knowledge of the foundation model. And one final thing uh, to know, also important for the exam, is that uh, there is underlying security. So uh, IAM permissions will be driving what um, what uh, answers can be given to the employee. Like a, the employee can answer, ask any query um, and you know the admin controls will limit certain things. Like if it asks um, queries unrelating to work related things, then uh, and no answer will be given. But if it asks a query about work things, uh, there's still access levels. You know, for example, somebody in the marketing department doesn't need to be asking questions about the salary of somebody in the finance department or about, you know, like the, um, I don't know, like how sub certain suppliers and things like that. So not everybody in the business needs to know everything. And that's where IAM, Identity Access Management, will be controlling what employee has access to. So what, um, in, in the sense that what Amazon Q Business, what kind of services it can access on behalf of the employee to get the answers. So there we go. That's Amazon Q Business. Here's a quick summary of what we discussed and I look forward to seeing you back here next time. Until then, enjoy the cloud.